Late tonight, officers tracked down and arrested the alleged attacker after an hours long search. KGW's Mike Benner is outside Legacy Emanuel Hospital where the victim is recovering. Mike, first of all, how is he doing tonight? Tell you what, Laurel, he is doing all right, but he is not out of the woods yet. His wife telling us that doctors are monitoring some bleeding on the brain. This after he walked into a 7-Eleven for some coffee, something he does all the time. Only this time around, he ran into an armed and angry man. Relief in East Multnomah County. In video, you'll see only on KGW, a man described as armed and dangerous is hauled away by police after an hours-long manhunt. I'm kind of speechless right now. Natalie Dovkin is the wife of Paul Dovkin. Around 5 o'clock Friday morning, Paul was at this 7-Eleven on Northeast 181st in Gresham. He was making himself a coffee when a stranger came out of nowhere and attacked him, hitting him over the head with a hammer. It was a pretty strong impact. It just cracked open his uh, forehead. It's, uh, the bone is all broken up, so they had to put stitches and uh, screws and plates to yeah, close it up. Detectives identified the suspect as 39-year-old Jonathan Jones, and it turns out he's done this very thing before. In 2011, Jones attacked a man outside a Walmart on Southeast 82nd, also with a hammer. In a jailhouse interview with KGW, Jones said he was high on meth and hearing voices in his head at the time of the attack. The victim said this about Jones. He's a bad person, very dangerous. We don't need him on the street. Years later, Natalie Dofkin found herself saying the same thing after Jones allegedly assaulted her husband. Fortunately, Jones wasn't on the run for long. Officers tracked down both him and his vehicle near Northeast 160th in Gleason late Friday evening. Who knows who can be next, you know? If he's out there, who knows who could it be next? It could be a mom walking with her kids down the street. Yeah, Natalie is extremely thankful that Jones has been caught. She wants to thank police and the public for keeping an eye out for him. In the meantime, a GoFundMe has been set up to help with Paul's medical expenses. You can find a link to that on our website, kgw.com.